Anne Neville was born at Warwick Castle, the younger daughter of Richard Neville, 16th Earl of Warwick, also known as the Kingmaker, and Anne Beauchamp. Her father was one of the most powerful noblemen in England and the most important supporter of the House of York. Her grandfather's sister, Cecily Neville, was the wife of Richard Duke of York, who claimed the crown for the House of York in October 1460. Anne became Princess of Wales as the wife of Edward of Westminster and then Queen of England as the wife of King Richard III. As a member of the powerful House of Neville, she played a critical part in the Wars of the Roses fought between the House of York and the House of Lancaster for the English crown. Anne became Queen of England when her husband, Richard III, ascended the throne in June 1483, following the declaration that his brother, King Edward IV's children by Elizabeth Woodville, were illegitimate. Anne predeceased her husband by five months, dying in March 1485. Her only child, Edward, had died the previous year. Samuel Whitebread was an English brewer and a member of Parliament. In 1742 he established a brewery that in 1799 became Whitebread and Co. Samuel Whitebread was born in Bedfordshire. He was the seventh of eight children. He left for London to find his fortune aged 14. He became an apprentice to a London brewer. He became very rich and bought Elstow Manor and other substantial property. When he died on the 11th of June 1796, he was worth over a million pounds. Today, that's the equivalent of around 96 million pounds. His brewery was one of the first to employ a steam engine. By 1760, his had become the second largest brewery in the UK. In May 1787, the brewery was visited by King George III and Queen Charlotte. He married firstly Harriet Hayton. They had two daughters, Emma Marie Elizabeth and Harriet. He married secondly Lady Mary Cornwallis. They had one daughter, Mary. He died in his sleep on the 11th of June, 1796.
The wedding of Henry VIII of England and Catherine of Aragon took place in a private ceremony in the Queen's closet at Greenwich Palace in front of two witnesses, Lord Stuart Shrewsbury and groom of the Privy Chamber, William Thomas. Henry was aged 17 and Catherine was 23. After 20 years of marriage, Henry, at the time a Roman Catholic, sought the Pope's approval for an annulment on the grounds that his marriage was invalid because Catherine had first been his brother's wife. He used a passage from the Old Testament to justify his stance. If a man shall take his brother's wife, it is an impurity. He hath uncovered his brother's nakedness they shall be childless. On the 23rd of May 1533, after 23 years, 11 months and 19 days of marriage, Cramner ruled the marriage to Catherine, null and void. On the 20th of May 1533, he pronounced the king legally married to Anne Boleyn. This led to the break from the Roman Catholic Church and the establishment of the Church of England. Catherine died at Kimbolton Castle on the 7th of January 1536, followed four months later by Henry's second wife, Anne Boleyn.